Zora, an experiment gone wrong. Its creator disposed of it to the poisonous wastelands. He returned only to find it larger, stronger, and smarter. What was once thought to be his greatest failure turned out to be his ultimate creation. He sought to use Zora's power for his own, but unfortunately for him, his pet didn't see him as a master, but instead his next meal. The local village feared for their lives, and so a gnome woman bargained a deal with the snake beast. That sacrifices will be made and Zora will be worshipped like a god. Zora hissed and slithered back to the swamp, and today the tradition of live sacrifices lives on in the village of Zolandra. Welcome to my Crystal Man series, where I've sold my bank for a bow Faradinan rebuild and I'll be doing this within the Bronze Man game mode, a game mode where I can't trade items until I first unlocked it with Iron Man methods. The goal of this series will be to acquire as many best in slot items to overcome end game PVM content. <laughs> Have you guys ever noticed that the fairy ring for the big snake is BJ's? <laughs> Damn Jagex. Naughty, naughty. You're teasing me. <laughs> Zora, the monster that has ended more hardcore Iron Man statuses than any other. Its favorite snacks include gnomes, elves, and engineers. <laughs> um, regardless of how dangerous he is, people still come here to grind out its loot table as he has very desirable drop table. Uh, it includes the Tans Fang to make the toxic blowpipe, which even after the nerf shreds through so many monsters. It also drops the Magic Fang, which can be added to your Trident of the Sea to make it a lot stronger. Uh, also, the Serpentine Helm, a piece of gear that prevents you from getting venomed or poisoned and has some really decent stats, like its Strength Bonus, which makes it the second highest in the Helmet slot. But the one item that I want the most is the Arnix. This sexy little thing can be turned into Jewelry, which would be an upgrade to my setup. So this is something I'm going to target and try get ASAP. So it looks like my dumbass brought my cash stack with me. <laughs> Ignore that, because that's not meant to be there, right? Um, so I'm getting Venom like crazy. Uh, I'm trying to get an Antidote++ plus plus drop from Zora, which is a 1 in 27 drop. I haven't unlocked it yet, but I'm hoping that he'll give it to me. And that way I don't have to use my Herblor skills to, to get it. Uh, but what I can do at the moment is sip two doses of Anti-Poison to get rid of Venom. But I'm just trying to save the, the potions, the super anti-poisons for now. So that I can make my trips last. Hey, and there's the first kill. Let's go, boys. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh no, I'm running out of food. Please. Just please, just take it, bro. Just take the DPS. Oh, these little snakelings, man. Mm. Take it. Oh, man, that was close. No food left. Hey, we got the antidote plus plus. You know what that means. Oh my god. Since I've unlocked the antidotes from Zora, I can now buy a bunch of them off the GE, and if I mix it with the Zora scales, I make BAM! Anti Venoms! Ooh! Baby! Look at it! Oh my god! It's so beautiful! Oh man! It's gonna make Zora so much more smoother now! Oh! That is the uncut onyx unlocked. Look at it guys. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Orange beaming light. That's a nice touch by uh what is it? Room light. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Alright, alright, alright. Far out. I can't believe we actually got it. That was our first preference too, and having that as our first rare is freaking amazing. Uh that's in uh 66 KC, dude! Okay, I think that's all we need. Using the, uh, what's this place? Edge fill. Alright, so if we click that, bam, Onyx Amulet, string it, okay, okay, 
and enchant. Which one is it? <laughs> Level six. Hey, we got it. We got it. Amulet of Fury is unlocked. Holy moly, guys! Look at it. Oh, far out. It's so beautiful. Compare that to the Amulet of Glory. Um, look at that upgrade. Plus 12 in all the defense bonuses, 2 in prayer, and plus 2 in melee strength. Oh my god, that's a huge upgrade. And I think with that, we're done with Zora for a little while. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're done with Zora for a bit. Come back, we'll do other things now. Alright, we just got a casket. Um, let's see what we got from the medium clue. Bam! Hey, that's not bad. Uh, that's really useful for Guild War Dungeons so that the Ceridoman dudes don't attack me, right? And since I don't bring arrows or anything with this bow, this is really good. We're at Kuran Castle. Uh, we need a melee weapon. We don't have one at the moment. We're just punching things. So I'm just going to go aggro all these Abyssal Demons. And hopefully one of them gives us an Abyssal Whip. Uh, this is pretty AFK because if I pray protect from melee, they don't do jack. So I'm just going to do that. And hopefully the best. We've got a system update in 21 minutes. So hopefully uh, Runelight comes back up real soon after that. Hey, we got the Abyssal Whip, guys. So straight after the update, Abyssal Whip, there is 2.3 mil. We're going to say, what's up to the clan? I did say that we were going to get it tonight. <laughs> and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Dragon Defender. I think we went over double the drop rate, but that's fine. Will it be this? Yes! Finally, the Black Mask. I've been here for about two or three hours. Finally got the Black Mask. Let's go! Alright, alright. So I'm going to try and go grab a magic weapon. Um, I don't have my Ivan Staff anymore, so this is where you get it if you've lost it or broken it or dropped it. Uh, from this coffee guy. You can see it's broken. you got to come here over to the Dark Mage and pay him some money to get it fixed up can you repair yep 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 200k easy peasy take my money how do i how do i upgrade it how do i is it is it more does it charge you more another oh my god okay so these are the things we need for the slayer helmet I'm gonna combine it Use one on the other, and there it is. Oh, looks like we didn't need a Witchwood icon. Okay, so that's our Slayer Helmet. Uh, probably want that imbued. So we're going to go over to Nightmare Zone. Yep. Um, and then get that imbued. And after that, we can start doing some Slayer tasks. So this, uh, the damage bonus and accuracy bonus on a Slayer Helmet also adds on to the full set effect of crystal armor. I think that was a recent buff they did. They did. Uh, correct me on that if I'm wrong in the comments below. Uh, okay, so 1.25. There it is, Slayer Helmet imbued. Ooh, yeah. Looking good. Hey, level 95 coming in, which means we have now unlocked uh, Hydras. So I'm pretty keen for that. Gonna finish off this task first though. Alright, Kona. Jellies. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Necreals. Skip. Turos. Skip. 182 Hydras. Let's go, guys. We got it. Alright, so this is my first time going to do Hydras. First KC for this account incoming real soon. We got no more food left, but look, we probably don't need it. We just need to keep switching prayers. Uh, now it's in its final form. As long as I switch prayers, I should be A-OK. -okay. Easy peasy, ladies and gentlemen. What the? What? Are you serious? No, no. I was so close. Hey, why am I taking damage from the mage attack? Isn't, isn't double... Isn't double mage? Oh shit! Run, 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 run! Ooh, lightning! Alright, get zapped. All part of the plan. Get zapped. All good, all good, all good. 
All right, fire phase. So there's like a phase here where you can avoid the fire damage. Oh, I think it's happening now. Oh no 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 no! I clicked the boss instead of the instead of the tile. Yo, why am I not running? Run 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 run. Did I do it? <laughs> is, that, is that how you do it? Why am I still burning? I'm still taking like five damage. I don't get it. All right, this has to be the first kill. Okay, no worries, no worries. All right, all right, we got this, guys. We got this. We got this. Ooh. Ooh. Just take it. Look at this professional pro flicking. Oh man, here we go. We're so close. Come on. Oh shit. Yep, part of the plan. Take, take, take the damage. Take the damage. <laughs> oh no. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You're so close. Come on, dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> First KC, 3 minutes 18, holy moly, I, I probably, I ate so much of that fight, like, my entire, my entire inventory is gone, I think I need to restock. <laughs> oh my god. A few moments later. I'm a professional Hydra Slayer now, check this out, ready? Incoming poison, dodge. Hells yeah. Incoming lightning, dodge. Nope. All right, take the damage. No worries, no worries, no worries. All right, incoming fire attack. Here we go. One, and two, and three. Yes, got it. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do before. All right, final form. Let's go. Bam. Wrong prayer, wrong prayer, <laughs> wrong prayer. <laughs> alright, alright, there you go, there you go. Fix that up. No poison. Last hit, come on. Yeah, get in. So much food left as well. Fish. And another. Alright, I can do it. Leave! Woo! Leave! <sighs> that was good. Uh, easy. Easy. Two and three. Alright. Easy peasy, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Hydra's eye! We got it. That's uh, the first one of three for the Brimstone Ring, which would be an upgrade to this account. Yo, I just got head. I mean, <laughs> I just got Hydra's head. <laughs> um, when's the last time you got head in OSRS? <laughs> oh man, it costs a thousand points just to recolor. That's crazy, but look, I want to look cool. Combine, yes, done. Here we go. Dude, I look so cool. Yeah, boy. It's almost matching. Hey, the Hydra's Fang. That's another piece towards the Brimstone Ring. Nice. That's the last piece to the Brimstone Ring, the Hydra's Heart, which means we got all three pieces in one task. So if I combine Hydra's Eye to this, yes, continue, proceed with the combo, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Brimstone Ring. A substantial upgrade to the signet because the signet has no stats. So that Hydra task just gave us about 19 million plus another two from the brimstones, so about 21 million. This means that it puts our bank value at 30 million or so, and that implies that we have unlocked the 25 mil bank value, which means from now on we can start using the God Book, the Arc Light, and the God Cape imbued. So those are pretty good unlocks, and you might see them in the next video. And the winner of episode 1's giveaway is... Ashley Hooper! Thank you very much for uh, supporting the channel by commenting, liking, and subscribing. I'll contact you in-game sometime this week. And again, thank you for all your support. And if you want to show your support for the series, then hit that like button and let me know which monster you want to see me grind next. 
Engagement tells the YouTube algorithm that this video is worth watching and as my channel is so small, I'll need all the support I can get. Thanks again and I'll see you in episode 3. Peace.